What's going on, y'all? It's your boy LSL Rod 254, man. As you can see, we got the rivet bust down, man, getting ready to pull this radiator out of here. As you know, we're waiting on the replacement to come. It's over here out the way. So we can pull the truck in there and out or whatever. This one can be disassembled. That way, when I do get the part, then we good to go, you know. So, uh, pretty much just 10 and 13-inch uh, bolts across the front uh, to hold down the motor mount joint and to hold down the radiator. Uh, two right there at the top to take out the fan. Uh, real, real simple, man. Real, real simple. Uh, let me show you here. And now you can really see, you can really see where it was cracked at. Like it's, all I know is it's not good. You know what I'm talking about? Like I know if you squeeze hard enough, the bitch starts skeeting off. So uh, we're gonna get that replaced, man. <clears throat> we ordered a new upper and new lower hoses. So all of this gonna come out, so. Uh, I'll be back in a day or so when uh, we got everything together. Woo, it is hot as fuck out here today. Got the fan going, trying to cool off in this bitch a little bit. I had to boost the toy apart. I had to get some more parts installed. You know what I'm saying, new lever. You know what I'm saying, I'm getting these from my boy Pryor. I got them installed. They look, they don't look bad. At first, like at first glance, like I really couldn't tell the difference. But you know, it don't, it don't look too bad. Both sides. And even the kickstand, so. You know, nice little touch. I still got one more to put on, man. I gotta put the clutch joint on. Uh, <clears throat> I was trying to find out a way to fix my LED lights. On this side, they good, but on this side, <coughs> take you over to this side here. Uh, I don't know where that fucking wire went. But anyway, like they are on that fairing, the lights on this fan too so as you can see kind of burnt that shit up i'm not exactly sure of how i could fix that if i could fix that how i could wire it up to make it work again if y'all know let me know and uh i'll do what i can to make the bike great again so we got a package though so let's go check see what we got All right, so as you can see, this is box one of two. I'm pretty sure you can guess what that is. <laughs> and then we got another box, box two of two. Go ahead and open this up and see what we got. plastic and bubbly wrapping shit out of the way aside all right so what we got here <sighs> fuck is hot yo <laughs> pcv valve new pcv valve i'm tired of going up under the hood on this shit i know it ain't been changed i'm just going to change it ahead of time get it done and out of the way next up Hose clamps. Got a whole nother. I think it's like 10 of them. 10 hose clamps. So I can install the new hoses. That's the lower hose. That's the upper hose. So new radiator hoses. Uh, 
what we got here? This is the intake manifold, or actually the throttle body gasket. So, new throttle body gasket. Uh, let's see, what is this? I think I might have accidentally ordered some shit. Oh, okay, new radiator cap. And then, so basically, the rivet getting a whole, whole new cooling system. All right, let's see. I also went ahead and picked up these uh, it's a valve cover set. You know what I'm saying? Got all the grommets, gaskets, and everything. I'm not sure if I've seen it leaking or not, but just in case, if it is, then I grabbed it, so I have it. You know what I'm saying? I tried to order everything from Rock Auto at the same damn time, save on shipping and all that shit, so. All right, on to the big box. All right, so as you can see, brand new radiator, straight out of the box. I don't like how they tried to play me. I bought all this shit and they gave me one magnet. <clears throat> I'm gonna start making multiple orders just so I can get my magnets. But I'm gonna stick that right there for now. So yeah, new radiator. Uh, that does it for this order. We finna go ahead and get to work. The fuck is hot as shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, we go try to knock this shit out uh, real quick. Like, uh, like I said, there's nothing but hoses, upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose, and then, of course, you have uh, transmission cooling lines, and then we should be good to go. So, let me get this lined up, knocked out, and shit, I'll cut y'all back on after afterwards and set the camera over to the side or something, because... Fuck it's hot. All right, so shit, we got the radiator out. It's a fucking mess. It was fucking these doom bugs. Like them shits is like all on the radiator, bro. Like <laughs> this look like it's probably like the OE shit. I don't know. It might be at the market. I'm not really sure, but I mean, I guess it did its time. It's time to get the new one installed. Let's go. All right, so you can see we're still out here getting it out of mud. <clears throat> the water pump is off. Added over there with that busted ass radiator. Just going to do all this shit again for the first time, man. That way you don't have to go back and replace the shit. Shit was fairly cheap, too, man. RockAuto.com. New water pump, new radiator. Uh, new upper and lower hoses. I already got the hoses in there prepared. I'm gonna clean out this maiden surface and then uh, get the new pump installed. And go from now. Water, this water pump hardware is ew, disgusting, nasty, man. So uh, I'm gonna get these cleaned up and then uh, install them back in there. Definitely don't want to install them back in there like that. Don't want to misthread anything like that. Then your problem gets that much more worse. So let's get it. Hey, we back. As you can say, late night grind. Shout out to whatever subscriber that was that told me to get the get the uh, full shit, the shit that wasn't mixed, and just make two out of one. So that way, it's like you get like two for ten. I'm to my, shout out to whoever that was, I forgot. Uh, we topping off the new radiator. Look at that. Ooh, baby. You <laughs> see all the way through the bottom of that thing. Got the new pump installed. So we're gonna go ahead, finish installing everything. I still hook the fan up and a couple other things. But other than that, man, for the most part, everything fit as it should. Everything went back together as it should. So, real easy um, versus the heat. See, I had to pretty much wait till it was goddamn dark to come back out here and fuck with it. But 
we are trying to get this done before the next work week. Put it back in rotation. So we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. So uh let me finish getting this topped off and everything and come back with a running start. Alright y'all, so we out here. Um as you can see, I got a blue veil crack, man. I'm out of the air on the tip one. Um, probably not going to end up taking it tomorrow, man. Maybe later this week. I definitely want to make sure I got that to where it need to be. I mean, it's right there at the half. You know, it's not like overheating, but... Yeah. If, this fan, if these fans wasn't on... And uh, it would definitely be there. But as you can see, like it's still, it's still bubbling. It ain't being constant, so we do know it's still some air in the system. So that's gonna do it for this one, man. Don't.